My name is Carter Sirach, also known as the productive dude, the espresso entrepreneur, the king of coffee, the man who gets every single thing done that he sets out to do. Perfect straight arrow, man. So you guys should definitely subscribe to me and you should like this video if you wanna be more productive. <laughs> In all seriousness, guys, if you wanna crush your ADHD brain and actually squeeze the focus, the little focus that you have out of it, then you should definitely check out my productive brain template. The Productive Brain Template allows you to quickly capture those different shiny objects that pop up throughout the day. Those winding, deep rabbit holes that you go down. Then you can process them later and decide what's worth keeping in your system. When you have a sober, clear, rational mind, it's a lot easier to work. But you're constantly gonna have that lizard brain trying to grab the wheel and just drive you off on some crazy dirt road, drifting around and going in totally different direction from where you want to go. So this template helps you solve that problem and it puts your tasks and notes into their rightful place. The only thing that you should be working on on a regular basis is what you set out to do from the start. This system even has a way that you can create your long-term goals and work them into the areas in your life. So if you don't know what you want, you can go macro, you can go super big picture, and then on a daily basis, this system helps you tighten in and focus on what needs to get done to achieve those greater visions that you have. If you want the full stack, you can check out the link in the description or the top pinned comment below, and you can get in on the end of year sale for those early risers, those people that are trying to get started in December instead of waiting until January to focus on your big goals. Now let's get into time blocking in Notion. Why do you need time blocking in Notion? Well, you need time blocking because if you don't plan, like I was saying earlier, your lizard brain is going to take over. It's going to drive you off on those crazy winding dirt roads and the backcountry roads, and you're going to end up in some hillbilly's yard or twisted around a tree. So I'm starting out here with a blank page in Notion, and I'm just going to close my sidebar. If you already have a task database, you can apply this to your tasks database. But if you don't have anything in Notion and you're starting out from scratch, you can just call it tasks and then click on the table button and hit new database. Now, this is where you're going to store all of your tasks. So let's go ahead and name the name column tasks. And I can write different things in here like walk the dog. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to delete this tags property. You can also just hit edit property and you can change the type here if you want, but I don't know why they throw this tags property in here. So I always just delete it because it kind of irritates me that they put it in there by default. And then I just hit the plus button and I create a new property for date. Now this is when you're going to get something done. I'll just call it the action date. This is programmed into the productive brain. I also have something called the due date. So if I duplicate this, we have the action date and we have the due date. Okay, these are different from each other. The due date is when something needs to be completed and the action date is when I'm taking action on it. Now, when it comes to time blocking, we just focus on the action date, when we're going to be doing this task. In this case, this might be like say a week out that I need to get it done, but the next action date that I'm going to take is the 12th, okay? So that's just an example of how you can use these two dates. I'm gonna delete the due date for now. Let's just focus in on the action date. So the next thing that you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to include time. This is a key element of time blocking is actually including the time on the date so that you have exactly when you're going to do this. And if you put end date, you can time block, right? That's what this whole video is about is blocking out specific time to work on specific things. We have 24 hours in the day. And if you don't decide what you're going to do with those 24 hours ahead of time, it's not going to happen. Like I said, the lizard brain's going to take over. It's going to start driving and you don't want the lizard brain driving. You're at the helm. You're the one that's in control. So once you've included the end date and the time, then you can go through here and you can actually start blocking out these times. So walk the dog. We're going to go with end date time and we're going to put in 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Now let's imagine that we have some other tasks in here for tomorrow, right? We don't want to necessarily see tomorrow's tasks in this view. I want to see just today. So if I rename this view to today, that won't necessarily do it for me. But if I go filter, 
and I filter by action date and I change this to start date is relative to today. This day, it's just going to give me the tasks for today. And then I can go ahead and sort by action date as well. And if it's ascending, you're gonna get starting from the lowest time or the earliest time and working its way up to the later times. So this is perfect. We can then add a checkbox in here. And this will be for completion. And the beauty of the checkbox property is I can actually drag it all the way down so that it's just the checkbox. You can't do that with other properties. Now, as I check these off, I don't wanna see them anymore. I want them to disappear from the checklist. So what I'm going to do is hit add filter once again. If you don't see add filter, you need to hit filter up here. I'm gonna hit add filter and I'm gonna filter where the complete is unchecked. So now as I check these off, they're going to disappear from this list. If I wanna bring them back, I can use control Z on Windows or command Z on a Mac. The way Notion works is you have these different views. So let's look at a better way to do time blocking now than just using this table. What I'm going to do next so that this is really easy to change on the fly is I'm just gonna hit this plus button and I'm gonna call this view time blocking and I'm gonna select the timeline. I'm gonna show timeline by the action date and I'm gonna hit done. And then once I have the settings set up just like this, I'm gonna hit this little X right here. Now out of the box, this is not beneficial for our tasks, but if you go to this little button right here where it starts as month, you can actually change this to hours. Then these little arrows here will drag you back to where you need to be. So I can start at my tasks that I have mapped out. And as you can see, the hour view is pretty zoomed in. So if you're blocking your day out by like 15 minute increments or something like that, this can be very beneficial. And as you can see, you can drag things around in here. Now, if you wanna get a little bit more zoomed out, then I recommend going to the day option. The day option allows you to see your entire day into the next day a little bit better. So if you wanna get really crazy with this and you wanna track every little thing that you're doing to make sure that the lizard brain doesn't take over at any point in your life, then you can always hit this little new button down here and you can drag in something like sleep. You can always use these arrows to go back or you can hold shift on your keyboard and you can drag your mouse to scroll horizontally. So what if you wanted to be able to check these tasks off just like you're doing in this view over here? Well, what you would do is click on these three dots in your time blocking view, go to properties, and then you can turn on your completion. Once you have completion turned on, you'll be able to see the blue check marks. Let's go ahead and hit filter, complete, and then I can say complete is unchecked. So then only the things that are unchecked are gonna show up on the schedule here. All right, so now once I start checking these off, they're disappearing. And in this view, it's very easy to just drag this out and move it around wherever it needs to go in my schedule. Now, one of the hallmarks of successful people is that they set recurring habits that they do every single day. I always feel better when I'm working out every day or reading something new every day. So I want you to feel that as well. So if you wanna implement recurring tasks into this so that you don't have to constantly type those in every single day and rely on sheer willpower to get it done, then you should check out this repeating tasks video. It shows you how to set up repeating and recurring tasks in Notion.